Okay, video two on the air conditioning on this Porsche. So it's been on the vacuum pump for about two and a half hours. I left it on the vacuum pump, went did some other jobs. The original sticker was missing out of here for the refrigerant charge. This is one of the Porsche's to-go books. Uh, Bentley Pump Lishing is supposed to be a trusted source. Now in this trusted source, it says 1,350 grams, 47 ounces. I'm kind of remembering some cars I've done like this. I thought they were 42 ounces. But, hey, this is the trusted Porsche god of uh, information. So we're gonna listen to that. Then I went to my online source. If you could see it, if I could, come on. The sun is so damn bright out here. Well, if you could see what this says, uh, it's R12 source was uh, 900 grams, 33 ounces. So there's a discrepancy of what is right and what is wrong. Now this was converted over, somebody else put retrofit fittings on here, and I always trust that it was done incorrectly. Uh, as you can see here, test system pressures with engine speed at 2000 RPMs, the outside temperature approximately 77 degrees, well we're actually 66 degrees right now, uh, keep engine hood closed, engine lid closed engine lid must be closed when you do this because it relies on the big fan pulling air like a vacuum cleaner right over this evaporator that's located right here if you have it up you have no airflow rtfm okay guys rtfm this is how every and then they go oh well i'll do all cars like this okay no all cars no longer you can't follow the same procedures for all cars Okay, so now let's go inside and take a look at... I'm not going to answer no phone calls right now while I do this car. So this has been running for about 10 minutes now. Actually, I just developed a little software glitchy thing here. It won't display my regular uh, pressure readings. So I'm at idle, 34 degrees. That is idle. So let me take it up to 2,000. Or let's look uh yeah it's still not displaying if i click on it so here's the pressure on the high side 300 instead of the 200 and i should have brought the book in here so we could go up go by the book uh it'll go down to about 310 i think once i get the idle up there's not enough airflow and there's radiant heat and everything like that so let's go back to this now it's saying uh 50 something really I'm gonna have to call up tech support. I don't know why I lost. Everything is wireless right now and for some reason I just lost all my connection to my sensors. But, unless, okay, let's go up to 2000 RPMs. Damn, that sounds higher than 2000 RPMs for a Porsche. I don't trust this. This is like way to hell. That's uh almost 400 psi so that is wrong i don't trust that book twenty nine psi on the low side that's too high so i'm gonna call that book that's a porsche manual bullshit because we are uh... If it was a 100 degree day, and this is already approaching 400 PSI, no way. So I could understand why that compressor sounds funny, and it felt felt wrong, it sounded wrong, because somebody probably followed the manual and came up with that. But uh, something's definitely wrong here. It looks like it has the original um, receiver dryer on here. I would tell them, but this is being shipped, this came from Japan. It just came here, it's in California, Burlingame right now, and it's being shipped to uh, Milwaukee, not Milwaukee, Wyoming, out in BF nowhere. So you can see the high side is going down. When I'm up there at 2,000 RPMs, and if this was moving down the highway, it would be a little bit lower. 
that's still too high. So I'm going to snapshot this and um, let me snapshot this.